All right, the three black U.S. senators have introduced a bill, another bill introduced in the House as well in the last week, to make lynching a hate crime. Now, I'm not sure, um, but I haven't heard of any stories of anyone getting lynched for like dozens and dozens of years. So what, why do we need a new law when I last time I checked, if you lynch somebody, you murdered them? You know, let me say this, Wayne. The lynching bill to make that a federal hate crime is really nothing more than political theatrics. It's political theater. Because at the end of the day, you have these black faces and minority faces saying, push this hate crime legislation through to make it a hate crime. But do you know, brothers and sisters, that the last hate crime bill that was passed, that was brought into existence because of the crimes committed against black people, really did not benefit us? It was passed with hidden, written yep. language to make, one, protections for gays. And they were only prosecuting gay hate crimes and rarely prosecuting hate crimes against black people. There'd be hate crimes documented against black people. They wouldn't even take the cases to federal government. But they used us and our bodies and our sacrifices to benefit others. So now this legislation, they're making it look like, because some black folks are in front of it, that it's going to benefit us. Look, hate crimes can be solved and lynching can be solved in America against black people by black people. We don't need the government to send them snaggertooth crazy <laughs> folks who wear hoods to stop from lynching us. Oh my God. We can send that message. Let me tell you something. Terrorism is like beauty. It's in the eye of the beholder. You like lynching black people? We won't call 911 because you sure as hell have to call 911 by the time we through. You call it political theatrics. And look, it's obviously outrageous that anyone was ever lynched. Let me stipulate that that is crazy, okay? Well, I wasn't here, but it's crazy. But it's more than political theatrics. Here's my problem. We talk about this a lot. I do not understand why we're continuing to dust up history. I mean, there wasn't anybody lynched last week. What no, are we wait doing? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. There have been multiple cases where black people have been hung still right now to this day in the last seven years right here in America. So let's not pretend. There's oh. a, there was a young high school student rolled up in a mat and he died suspiciously. And they still don't know what, what happened to him. That wasn't there's lynching. brothers who've been hung right here in Houston, not Houston, but in Texas recently. And they're still saying, well, those deaths are under suspicion. And often they rule the lynching the suicide so we won't get angry and take to the streets. But I'm telling you, we don't need the government or law enforcement to fix the lynching problem. We can do that ourselves. Just like they like to find a tree, we can find one in their neighborhood also and send the message. You hang one of us, God, we gonna cut every tree down in your goddamn neighborhood if you do something like that. Peace, Cornell. Yeah, peace, my uh-huh. <laughs>